My ego kinda stocky, homie nigga, you a hater if you tell me I ain't popping, homie. work every freaking day gives 100 percent and the disrespectful shit that i've seen it's just like bro what are, what, are, what are we doing this is how we treat legends we don't have brett fall we don't have Deion sanders we barely barely kept tony gonzalez we treat jamal anderson chuck smith Terrence Mathis like horse shit, and we up here doing the same thing to the greatest fucking receiver in the history of the game. And fuck your feelings if you don't like it. Thanks. Thanks. Hold on, let me do it the right. The greatest uh, receiver. All of, this, this dude does nothing. He don't complain. He don't complain. He don't bitch and moan. Get on the get on TV when he didn't get what he barely had. It was three quarters. I still remember this game. Going against the Panthers. Three quarters. The dude had no targets going into the fourth fucking quarter. He didn't complain. The Saints. He said, that's how, that's how we run things. If if we're going to win the game by me not even just being a, a decoy, Julio Jones said, I'm fine with it. He didn't cry. He didn't bitch him on. He didn't do any of that. But guess what? Falcons ain't ready to throw him away like he's a fucking piece of shit. You want to throw Julio around? You want really want to throw Julio like he's just a piece of crap? What is that? What the hell we got to be proud of? We the Atlanta Falcons. We the laughing stock of the whole goddamn league. But we want to throw Julio like he's nothing. This dude can. This dude is. He can go on a two hundred million dollar contract without nobody saying no. Julio don't deserve that. He got that much power and that much talent, but us Atlanta Falcons fans want to throw him around like he's nothing. What are, we, what are we doing, people? This is Julio. He's not Antonio Brown. He don't go and beat up people. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing that. He's not pressing out. He's not recording. He's not recording the, the, the um. He's not recording inside the damn locker room like Antonio Brown. Facebook Live. He's not doing Facebook Live. Julio Jones shows up the opposite thing that Matt uh, that that Michael Vick did. He does the opposite. He actually shows the fuck up. He's the last one to leave and the first one there. And we want to throw him around like he's nothing. Get rid of him. He old. He's 32 years old. The man deserves respect. If anybody on this team deserves respect, it's Julio Jones, period. Never complains. So I'm telling you, bro, fans, we got to do better. Got to respect this man. And I, look, I'm sick of, I'm, I'm really, this right here pisses me off more than anything we're talking about julio jones the guy is a perfect when you craft a wide receiver he's big he's powerful he can run every route on the fucking tree you can coach him you can he's he's, he's coachable he's willing to pass on his knowledge to other guys like calvin really the same guy that we don't want to get rid of calvin really guess what julio's embracing it Facts. he's embracing these guys go ahead He's embracing this guy, and we want to just throw him away. Oh, Julio, he he's thirty two years old. He old. Let's let's just throw him on to the side. Come on, bro. Disrespectful. That man deserves more respect than that. Period. I, hey, I, y'all already know how I feel about Matt Ryan, but it really fires me up when you see a, a Julio Jones. He's a perfect goddamn. He's a model fucking citizen. Doesn't go to jail. Don't beat up people. Do all this other crazy ass shit that we see a lot of NFL players. Hit, 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 Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Grabamore up in New Orleans. He ain't buying illegal guns. He ain't doing none of that stuff. We want to throw Julio around like he's nothing. 
But I'm gonna cool out. I'm gonna chill out. Let me let me sit back and do my thing. Twist it. What you got? K Styles. What you got? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. How long did T.O. play? Can somebody tell me how long T.O. played? About 10, 10 what, tw- 97. About 12, 10, about, I'd say about 11 years or so. Really about 13, about 12, 13. Yeah. Yeah. What, was his, what was his age when he retired? He was close to 40, if not 40. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Reggie Wayne. How old was Reggie Wayne when he retired? Wow, it was around the same age. It was around the same okay. age. Okay, so you see where I'm going with this narrative, right? Mm-hmm. You yeah, got yeah. it. Ch- fans and people that only listen to ESPN and Stephen A and Skip and all these people talking about trade them, they want Julio. If Julio was on their team, they would not trade him. They wouldn't think twice about it. They would play until the wheels fall off. Julio is a, a citizen of Atlanta. And he stays literally two and a half hours away. He does not want to go to L.A. He don't want to go to Detroit. Stop telling about Green Bay. He don't like playing the cold. Stop talking about these crazy teams. I'm sick of hearing it. Julio is here to stay for good. I don't, I don't need the media keep um, putting these fake narratives out to make it seem like Julio wants to be traded. He don't even talk. We never even heard Julio say a full sentence if they're not asking him questions. I don't even think he talks on social media. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't heard nothing. I've never seen Julio move his, his mouth when, on Snapchat videos, nothing. He literally shakes his head like he's a, a mump. He, like, like, this is all he does. He doesn't do anything else. Oh, I'm going to need you all to relax. <laughs> it's crazy to me. Also, for the Twitter people, I don't know what um, I don't know what their um, fan base is. I don't know what their name is. I don't want to say it because and give them publicity. You are trash. I'm gonna need you to to um, commentate on your team only. Don't commentate on the Falcons because you know we got hot topics at the time, and you want to do that for clickbait. I'm sick of seeing it. And the I'm next tired. time I see it, the next time I see it, I swear I got a video lined up for you. And I'm going to roast you for ten and a half minutes. I'm telling you now. If y'all don't want that, I'm going to need you to calm it down. Don't create fake narratives to make people think that's what it is because it's not. All the Matt Ryan haters. <laughs> we love it. Thank you. Uh-oh. You keep adding him. You keep tweeting him. He doesn't even see you. He doesn't know who you are. You can tweet, <laughs> but you not have to add him. He doesn't care who you are. He's a millionaire. I just want y'all to know that. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> like I don't get that. You don't have to tweet players to get more people to like your, your tweet. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. And then you hate on a person that was the first person to actually put towards the cause for Black Lives Matter in Atlanta. But y'all want him gone. That don't make sense to me. I've never seen no player on the Falcon organization in the past nor the future state that Matt Ryan isn't a leader. Matt Ryan doesn't care about the black community. None of that. So stop creating these narratives. It's not cool to him or his family or the fans that know who Matt Ryan really is and Julio Jones really is. It's not fair to them. So if we lose Matt Ryan and Julio Jones because y'all want to keep, keep creating narratives and stuff like that, all right, I got some for that. Uh, you see me, right? I, I got some for that. that. <laughs> I, was to, I was about to say, bang, bang, motherfucker, goddamn. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, man. But hold on, let me let me get this out the way. This this might this, yeah, this go. Ahead. This is the K Styles calm rant here. <laughs> um, so <laughs> let me so so I ask y'all a question. Um, when they talk about the curse of Atlanta sports, is it really a curse because of the city itself or is it because of the fan base itself? Mm. 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 I'll repeat that one more time. I'm sorry. Repeat that no, one no, more time. No, I'm, saying, no, I'm saying is the curse of Atlanta really just on the city being cursed or is it its fan base that has no loyalty to nobody? I'll take two for a hundred. Because <laughs> you see, like, like he and they made the point earlier. 
most of our guys that put work <laughs> in on this franchise they don't like i said they don't get the recognition from the organization or the fan base um you got like i said terrence mathis jamal anderson but the thing about those fans right there is if you ain't michael vick you don't matter in atlanta let's mm. just keep it real mm-hmm. right i mean it's, it's, it's almost like that case where you would rather have an exciting player and lose every year than fix the problems at hand. Like you said, Matt Ryan is not the problem. <clears throat> and 92-9 the game, yeah, 92-9 the game, ESPN, the AJC, um, whoever the fuck else do something down here, like, like this. And then- that's the crazy it, it, part. That's the crazy part. The, the, the craziest part is this. Is this? This is why I say this. I, I have a major problem with it because he got look. Our own sources. Like this. This is why I'm gonna go with two. For a hundred, all right. We're gonna put two hundred on that mug, all right. So it's two hundred. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> 200, all right? Look, this is the reason why I got a problem with it. Because we're talking about our very own, the Falcoholic. We got guys like, you know, we have um, the Orlando Ledbetter. He he doesn't say anything about this. He never even speaks about it. Um. Like even look, we we know who the publications that are for now. We know who these people are. The problem is with me is that none of these guys come to the Falcons' aid. Mm. I need more. I was I, I expect more. I expect more out of these guys because look, say what you want about Skip Bayless, but he goes hard for his Cowboys. You can say whatever the hell you want to say about. Goddamn Shannon Sharp, but he goes hard for them sorry ass Broncos. You can say whatever the hell you want about Mr. Ray Lewis. He killed this person or he had that person killed, but Ray <laughs> Lewis go hard for them goddamn Ravens. Okay? He go hard for them. So when and where is that person for the Atlanta Falcons? Who's going to go hard for us? Because it sure ain't, it sure as hell ain't Mr. Jackson State, Deion Sanders. <laughs> maybe, maybe Roddy White. Maybe Roddy White is the ambassador. Maybe we, we need to hire Roddy White as our guy because he right. goes hard for this team. And they end up getting rid of him because his ass didn't want to follow directions. <laughs> Terrence Mathis. Terrence Mathis. That's why I love Terrence Mathis to death. He goes hard. Him, Chuck Smith. Those guys go hard for him. But guess what? Where's the praise for him? No praise. Y'all forget him. Right. Chuck Smith is doing a great thing for this organization and a great thing for not only, you know, kids in college, but high school. He teaches these young guys, 14, 15 years old, who want to be football stars. He they, he trains the guys to be better defensive linemen. And guess what? He gets no praise. None whatsoever. So Big at boy. some point, we got to stop. We have to we have to, okay? We as fans and we as reporters, Atlanta Falcons Nation, we got to do better by giving these guys a, a, a safe haven. So we don't have a safe haven. We're destroying our own self. It's like, like what you call it? Um, I forget the term because I'm so damn pissed off right now. I forget so, it. Uh, we we, 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 we didn't implode it. We implode it. We're just in freaking pro. Falcon fans are just Falcon fans. They killing the organization. The media is killing the organization. And guess what? Nobody, nobody has Matt Ryan's back. Nobody has Julio Jones back. They getting destroyed from their own, and they getting destroyed from people outside. When is it gonna fucking stop? Somebody got to stick up for these guys at some point and show the appreciation that these guys. And look. Who, 
like look, this is the thing that really pisses me off. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling the fuck on, but I'm I'm really heated by this. I'm heated. Like, look, the Iron Man. Everybody always praised Brett Favre for being the Iron Man. He played two honey get straight games. Peyton Manning didn't get praised for being Iron Man. He was the Iron wait, Man. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the Iron Man. Everybody a dime Iron Man. You talk, you you talking about Matt you, talking, you talking about Brett Favre? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's Brett Favre. That Brett Favre. That Brett Favre. He get praised for being. Everybody get praised. Those guys, everybody get praised except for those. Hey, hey hold on, start, bro. hold on, Mike. My bad. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. And shout out to um. We had a cash app um earlier. Thank you. About, man. Um, there's the Anthony Jackson Falcon fan 86. Uh, we appreciate it, man. Like I said, it, it, hey, 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 keep them coming, man. But like I said, don't, Thank don't, 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 don't kill your wallet to where you can't pay your bills. I'm just saying that, but we appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> we appreciate hey. it, man. We truly do. We truly do that, Anthony. Right, we truly appreciate that. Thanks, thanks. Appreciate you, brother. Exactly. Go ahead, Mike. I just want to get that out the way. But, but like I said, man, that's what about Big Boy? Point. Hmm. How y'all feel about Big Boy? Big Boy goes hard. He he definitely mm-hmm. goes hard for the organ. He's probably one of the only true guys from Atlanta. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give one of these to Mister Philip. Uh, what was his name? Clifford Harris. He can take two of them. Okay, he can take two of them. So screw <laughs> his ass too. He's supposed yeah. to be all Atlanta. Oh, I'm so hood. I'm so uh, hey, 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 hey. Look, nigga. Look, I'm I'm sorry. My my, my <laughs> I'm sorry. You I'm, just dropped the N word on your ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I, I'm just I'm tired of people. Even at Quavo, you supposed to be all Atlanta, bro. Y'all you supposed to be QB. all Atlanta, and y'all tearing down our own city. Where do we do this? When did we do this? It's supposed to be all Atlanta. Everybody's supposed to be ripping. Everybody got the, uh, the Falcon hat on. Everybody got the A on. Everybody buy the Michael Vick jerseys that they wore, that they bought two thousand years ago, before Christ. They did. They look. They buy all that. But guess what? Still no love for the Falcons. And then wondering why Arthur Blank and these guys lose it. We ain't even showing up to the games. And then when we show up, when we show up to the games, we ain't even on our feet on third downs. We're not even cheering for the guys. It'd be more cheering when we on offense, man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and we have an issue too, is because people say, um, well, if they keep winning, maybe people will show up. You motherfuckers don't even show up when we win it. Yeah, that's BS. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess the only way for them to really appreciate what goes on in this organization if this organization moved to London. Because mm. mm-hmm. remember, we were about five years away from losing this franchise to London. And Mr. Mm-hmm. Blank saved us. Mr. Mm-hmm. Blank saved us. Because they was about to sell it to a whole nother, like they was going to move the Falcons. The Smiths, they was gonna move them. Definitely. So crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. We got all yeah, this. Yeah. We supposed to be. Oh, I just want to win and all this type of stuff. Mm-hmm. But Falcons fan don't even. They don't even cheer. And then here, here, I already hear you. But you don't come to the game. You don't spend your money. Look, everybody can't. Everybody can't make the game, bro. Everybody ain't got it like that. But the mother, the people who do, show up. Not just show up, say something, cause y'all look, y'all louder on Twitter than y'all louder in the damn stadium. Mm. I remember somebody put a tweet up there saying, it, "What, what if they put um, all the Falcon fans in the room watching the game together?" They say it'll be, it'll be a, fights. They, they'll be there to call the cops because it'd be a massacre. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts. It's not. Let, let's let's be honest. It's okay. When a when a player makes a mistake and you call a player out for the mistake, but don't go over the extreme saying they need to be traded, they trash as hell. No, they need to work on their game. That's it. Uh, coaches have to put their players in position to make plays, bro. 
I, that's happened since Pee Wee, middle, high school, college to NFL. That's how it goes. A player grows based on the coaching staff he has. Some players can come off and be good like Vic or pure talent. But Vic wasn't going to win a bowl without actually sitting down and practicing and learning schemes. That's what Matt Ryan has. So we have to take that into content and put players around him like they did in this draft. That's what they've been doing. But like I said, Q Hut had a point right here. Like I said, and, and this is this is a um hold on, let me get back on camera. This is a de- detriment to the organization itself. And we've had pass rushing problems since John Abraham left. Thanks. This man up here, and that like, yeah, that man right there, Chuck Smith, done trained more sack leaders. All right, Aaron Donald. Yeah, he's responsible for that. Okay, mm-hmm. put some damn respect. Back on our legends. Mm-hmm. Right. They deserve more. He trained Aaron Donald. He trained Leonard Floyd, Gray mm-hmm. Rizzo, all these guys. Vaughn Miller. He trained these guys. And we we disrespect this man. He's become a national damn scouting uh, coach right now, trainer right now. The man is traveling all over the United States, training young young men. To be one uh, one day one of the greatest pass rushes. He's doing this. And guess what? The Falcons organization don't even respond to the man, bro. You guys won't even retweet his stuff. Yes, I'm talking about you fans that's on Twitter. Y'all see Chuck Smith's stuff and you won't even retweet it. This man is a this man has ties to legends. He trained legends. The same one that y'all say who's the greatest defensive lineman in, in, in history, one of the greatest, Aaron Donald, Chuck's responsible for it. But y'all won't even retweet none of his stuff. So it's absolutely insane. I'm just a little bit amped up, and I apologize. I've been talking too damn much. They they only call Chuck Smith when they want somebody to train, like they want him to train somebody. Why not just hire him for the staff? Exactly. You training with a player for a couple days ain't gonna help him. Dante Fowler, send Chuck Smith out there for him. <laughs> ASAP. Exactly. I need Chuck Smith to help that whole front seven. And he would mm-hmm. add a different dynamic. Those Von Miller plays, those strip sacks. They will be added to Atlanta if you bring Chuck Smith on on that defensive coordinator staff. Yeah, like I said, they don't call him Dr. Pass Rush for nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, it's – man, I about damn near forgot what I was going to say too, but um, – <laughs> because, um, um man – and like I said, you y'all y'all hit on some gems, and like I said, it, the reality of it is, and then Jesse Tuggle, that's another name. Oh, yeah. I, I know, I know what I was about to say. You got more Falcon fans retweeting on why they didn't pick a quarterback at number four, or why do we have Matt Ryan for the last seven years instead of, like you said, enjoying the guys that put in the work. Now I understand you got players on the team that ain't worth shit. <laughs> That's every team. Every team. Right. <laughs> right. Um, but like I said, in all honestly, they are a representation of the um Smithers and Farmer Fran regime. <laughs> <laughs> Smithers is the right word too. That's the right description of who he is. Smithers. They, they, they are a representation of that regime, which basically means they had they they are half hearted fans. Uh, they don't really give a fuck. Like I said, hey, Falcons could be in L.A. They could be in London right now. And who you gonna cheer for? You, you, you gonna y'all gonna cheer for the next the the the, the team that wins the Super Bowl every year? Mm. Mm-hmm. That what they do? We feel that we finna have a lot of Falcons fans go to be Bears fans, which is okay with me. I mean, I'm cool with that. Hey, like, hey look, look, look! I got the new, I got, I got the new hashtag for that. <laughs> hey, the hashtag is ATL Cleanse. <laughs> ATL Cleanse. Get them up out of here. Exactly. 
They can go. They can go to Chicago. They can go to Tampa Bay. They can go to New Orleans, Green Bay, whatever. Like I said, if oh, you're that, that's just like having having a group of friends that you got a business together, and the minute something slips up like this, you already out instead of figuring out the issues that could make the whole operation better. Like I said, Matt Ryan is not the only problem. We've seen it. We got a coaching problem. We got personnel problems. We got cap problems. And we and, and we have a media problem. Like, like it's it's too much stuff going on here. And we kind of getting off subject with the stuff, but basically, um, what we go, what we saying here about Julio Jones is, his ass ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere, Bruh, I do not want a Steve Smith situation. Mm. Ask the Carolina Panther fans about Steve Smith. Woo. That motherfucker retired as a Baltimore Raven. Do y'all want mm-hmm. that situation? Nasty. That was nasty. That was nasty. I ain't I ain't like that, but it's yeah, they did they did him kind of dirty. I ain't like that though. Like I said, uh-huh. it's, it's it, like I said, every every like everywhere you turn is gonna be a problem. And until we as fans, the true fans, stick with the team and we cleanse the fan base of the ones that really don't want to be with the team unless they're winning. Once we clean all that out and take all that negative energy out, see, I think the real reason why they try to trash us, remember the guy that came on the show and said, you better hope they don't go 4-12, and 12. because if they would have got a quarterback, see, they had a couple years to be the yes. See, what we're doing is we on a limb, because if he don't show up by the way, we're going to take the brunt from day one. Mm. They got three years ahead of us, so that's why they went with the quarterback at four because they don't want to be proved wrong if anything happens. Like, well, it was like two or three years down the line. But like I said, hashtag ATL cleanse. 